Hello guys, in this video we are creating the game of life. So let's get started by creating a new class, which is going to be game of life. Make sure that the void, void main and constructor is checked before you finish. Now we will need an integer which is going to represent the number of rows and columns. So int size is going to be 50. And we are also going to need an and to the array which is going to represent the state of the cells the cell can be alive or dead so it's going to be array of booleans so boolean cells map is going to be is going to be to the array like this and then we will also need some way to represent each cell and we are going to do it with j button so we are going to need an to the array of j buttons like this And in the constructor we are going to basically set the values of those two arrays. So cells map is going to be equal to new boolean size by size. So we are going to get 50 rows and 50 columns in this array and the same thing applies for cells is equal to new j button size by size like this now to display these buttons we will need in j frame so our class is going to extend from j frame like this extends j frame And we are going to set the size of the window to, I don't know, 500 times 500. Remember, this is in pixels, so it's not going to be that big. We also need to set the layout of the, of the frame, which is going to be new grid layout and it is going to have 50 rows and 50 columns like this now we are also need we also need to set visible our window oh, true and we also need to set the default close operation exit on close like this here we will iterate through each of the arrays and set its values. So for int i, which is equal to zero, i is less than size, i plus plus. For int j, which is equal to zero. Remember, we have to loop through the columns as well as rows. So that's why we need two for loops. j is equal to zero, j is less than 50 and j++ like this now to set the values of the arrays we will need some randomness to decide whether the cell is alive or not so random r and d is going to be equal to new random like this and now cells map on the position i and j is equal to r and d dot next int remember this is int and we need a boolean so if this int which is going to be from the from the from 0 to 100 is less than say 30 then this position on ij is going to be true and we also need to create a temporary button j button temp which is equal to new j button like this if the value here is true then the color of this button is going to be green so if cells map on i and j then temp dot set 
background is color dot say green else we are going to set the color to white time dot set background color dot white like this now we need to add this button to the frame so add temp and yeah this should be it so don't forget to cr to say new game of life in the main and now when we launch this we should get a bunch of buttons and a bunch of green and white buttons basically uh, also don't forget to add this button into the button array so cells of i and j is equal to temp like this now when we launch this we should see green and white buttons here we go so these cells which are green are alive the white ones are dead so now we need to use make use of some of the rules which can be found on the wiki so the first rule is when a cell is surrounded by three well let's keep programming we will get there eventually so we are going to need timer which is going to represent our game loop let's set the delay to 100 and the listener is going to be new action listener like this uh, don't forget the semicolon over here and timer dot start like this all right moving on here we have to uh, iterate through all of the values in our arrays so for oh i will just copy paste from here hope you don't mind like this and here we need to count all of the neighbors of a cell so count neighbors i j we are going to create this method which is going to return us the number of neighbors so we are going to save it in the variable count named count so here over here let me create this method count neighbors i just copied from here ah, let me get that all right so void oh int count neighbors like this Yes, we are going to need two arguments which is int x and int y they are basically going to represent our position in the array int count is going to be equal to zero at first and then we will return count like this now we need to iterate through the neighbors of the cell which basically called this function so for int i which is equal to x minus 1 semicolon uh, is less than less or equal to x plus 1 i plus plus and another array oh this should be minus 1 and another array oh, another, another for loop <laughs> sorry for that which is going to be for int j i minus one uh, y minus minus one y plus one and j and j now in order to well we have to make sure that we don't end up out of the boundaries of our arrays so try catch because if i was zero then we would end up with negative one which is going to cause an error here so catch exception e and we don't have to do anything here 
this just makes sure that the program doesn't crash and here if cells map on i and j is true then count plus plus like this and also we we don't want to include in the count the cell which called this function so if the cell that called this function was actually alive we want to subtract that so if cell map on x and y so this is the cell that called this function and if it is alive then count minus minus like this all right so now that we have our count we can move on to the rules so if a cell is surrounded by less than two neighbors the cell is going to die so if well and the cell has to be alive obviously at first so life cells uh, if cells ma map on i and j is true which means it is alive then if count is less than two something is gonna happen here oh. if count is equal to three or it is equal to two then something is gonna happen here and if count is greater than three then the cell is going to die like this and else if the cell wasn't alive when we started then if the count of the surrounding self is equal to three then something is gonna happen here as well so now we need a temporary array which is going to hold the values for us as we are iterating through the original array here so boolean temp is equal to new boolean like this and it's gonna be size times size or by size and if the count is less than do two, two then the cell is going to die so temp on i and j is equal to false if it is equal to three or two the cell is going to stay alive so it's equal to true if it's greater than three then it's false again and here if it is equal to three the cell is going to become alive basically in the next round like this and now we need to render our cells so again we are going to use for two for loops so i'll just copy them from here and paste it here like this So if the cells map on i and j is true, then map uh, cells. Remember, cells is the array of buttons. Cells on i and j dot set background is going to be color dot green. Else cells on i and j dot set background color dot white actually i would prefer to not make it green but to make us some random color so it is going to be kinda happier new so new color 
rnd dot next next in two fifty five rnd dot next in two fifty five and rnd dot next in two fifty five. So in the first round every li living cell is going to be green and in the further rounds is going to have a random color which is going to be nicer I would say and we also have to make sure that the original array is equal to the temporary array which we created here so cells map is equal to temp like this and now when we launch this program everything should be working just fine all right let's test it out okay and yeah this is the game of life so congratulations you just finished your game of life i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions please ask in comments below don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye